Okay. So today we're going to see, yeah, we going paperless. Okay. This is your chapter name, going paperless. Okay. Let's start then. So this chapter, yeah, this section, yeah, in this point, um, all practices and efforts taken by organization in a paperless direction and explain various ways to reduce amount of paper organization consumed. So here we're going to see how we can, uh, means we can consume amount of paper organization consumed. So paper problem, first of all, let's see. The first of all paper problem means how does over uses, how does over uses of paper paper effect sorry paper effect environment and organization environment and organization okay i'm writing like this ORG, that is organization consider okay so so here we are going to see this today's topic is uh, it's nothing but going uh, paperless. So here we're going to see there all the practices and efforts taken by the organization in paperless direction and explain various ways to reduce amount of paper organization consumed. So here we're going to see the paper's problem, the environment and the cost. So paper problems in this, uh, the question can arrive like this, how the... Um, the how does overuses of paper affect environment and organization? So here, overusing paper affect not only to company bottom line. Okay, overing a papers affect not only to company bottom line but also to environment. If you using overuse uh, any, uh, if you use over the papers, then it will be badly impact on our environment. This section explains what overuse of paper is doing, both globally and locally. So in here we're going to see how paper over use of paper is doing both globally and locally. So environment, okay, in this environment, just one minute, okay. Paper problem is the biggest source of wood consumption. So in this environment, paper production is the biggest problem, biggest source. Okay, paper production is the biggest source of wood consumption. USA alone consume around how much? Around environment. Around two hundred. 200 million okay million tons so here paper production is the biggest uh, biggest uh, source of wood just let me increase this okay so okay paper production is the biggest source of wood consumption usa alone I consume around 200 million tons of wood product and number is increasing year by year. USA paper product produce consume 1 billion tree. So USA paper producer consume the 1 billion tree for, for a production of paper. So here in this USA alone consume around 200 million ton of wood product. And number is increasing year by year. It's not coming decrease straight. It always increasing year by year. Then USA paper production consume 1 billion trees. So for paper production in USA, it consumes the 1 billion trees. Okay. Then losing tree sand forest land is not in only problem. The process of deforestation has released. Uh, release more than 120 billion tons of carbon dioxide CO2 into atmosphere. Also, more than 3 million tons of calories used each year of bleach paper. 
calorine is a major source of the dioxide and regularly dumped into rivers and stream as water so what here uh, means losing tree is sent uh, forest land is not only problem the process of deforestation has released more than 120 billion ton of carbon dioxide and you know uh, the co2 how it uh, badly impact for human health also right on the human health uh, and on the badly impact on our environment also co2 so because of consuming because of deforestation co2 is released emitted c120 billion so cost let's see about this point handling in cost handling paper can account for 30% of organization overhead this number consider the average number of hour spent by worker doing tasks such as creating then filling distributing retrieving and destroying documents so handling paper can account for 30% of organization overhead this number consider the average number of hours spent by worker doing tasks such as means we have to spend uh, money for for particular worker they because they doing like this work yeah means such as creating and filling and distributing retrieving uh, then retrieving then destroying and documents okay according to one report in an organization on on an average any document is copy 9 to 11 times okay any document is copy 9 to 11 times according to one report okay so, so if it is offline documents manual documents so it copy 9 to 11 time why if one of the document is lost then we have to recover, means we require this particular document so we have if we having the copy of particular document then we can use it so that's why it uh, what uh, it copy 9 to 11 times at a cost about to doing this copy particular document is nothing of one single file 100 pages file um, if it uh, keep in manually data manually means uh, keep in file and like this so you can't uh, count us so okay how much it will uh, be required so just think that um, copy 9 to 11 times at a cost about usa dollar 23 and to file that document it cost usa dollar 25 and co cost to retrieve missing file is usa dollar 153 so main handle for maintaining paperless office is mental and not yes. mental and not technological 10 to 20 years ago it was fine which were backup and if lost business gone okay in the before 10 and 20 years ago okay it was fine which were back backup and if lost with business gone but in 21st century good backup processes are follow right you know very well now this backup nowadays new trend is remained Uh, backup media such as uh, you can means uh, you can keep your backup your data like cd dvs uh, then in hard disk and use of commercial online storage services uh, for backups this will save thousands of paper and provide security from dangers like a uh, fire and flood although this incurs some initial cost and takes time to but once done then it is maintained so listen here the before the how is for sure are the uh, if you want to keep your data uh, through files so think uh, it is it will be sorry that time uh this was costly and uh, irritating hota work to keep and all but uh, in this century 
in this century, this time, uh, we can easily keep our data through PD, yeah, we can say hard disks, and in any soft copy, we can store our data easily, right? So here, uh, just data manually assailed, means file format for the assailed. And you suppose put a file, hello, yeah, flood, the tumsa to data easily, you will lose your data easily, right? I'm not telling that uh, through uh, soft copy, you will be save your data. You know, sometime, if a laptop has a uh, laptop mein kuch problem, ho, crash, ho gaya, suppose, or PD is corrupt, ho gaya. then also you can lose your data. Here also problem is there. But what if, if your data is very secure types and your data is very essential? So you you can do one thing. What you can take, uh, keep your data in cloud. I mean, in Google Drive, then uh, corrupt hota, kahi hota, whenever you require, you can easily uh, use your data. So it is a beneficial point, which you don't get manually. Nahi milta. Okay, so this is the advantages here. So and we will, um, means the two types of advan advantages we will get, yeah, we are getting, if we do it like this, see, going for paperless, then we will save our environment. Yeah, we can save then uh, and plus we can uh, secure our data easily if we keep this data in cloud, right? So paperless office benefits both organization and environment. So some of the benefits are, let's see the benefits of, well, uh, let me write, okay. So benefits of having paperless office, okay, benefits. Benefits. Let's check it. This benefits. Okay. Yes. Okay. So first one is lesser paper cost. Okay, lesser paper cost. So Laser paper cost like kya hai, hai? Um, dekho, if you are using less paper, then cost um hi kami rahi, right? Uh, means you no you don't require the main power. Jaise ki humne dekha tha ki paper ki upar work karne ke liye bhi kitne main power try karne ke liye usko fix uh, polish karne ke liye we require the main power. So if you use less paper, then cost also we reduce it. Then less pollution. It's very main point here. Less pollution. Because of pollution, only uh, pollution is uh, only the one of the bad biggest problem. Take just a minute. Okay, so pollution ki wajah se hi humans health ko means environment badly impact ho raha hai and also humans body ko bhi harmful health mein bhi harm ho sakta hai. So paper use kam karenge to of course first of all we will reduce the cost, we will save our money and second main thing that um, most important point that less pollution right right and then fewer paper use and if you try to use oh sorry just one minute okay so less paper cost then fewer paper use if paper upon kami use kilo, right? Uh, suppose upon a plapuna important data, sir, upon uh, soft copy through Excel through the skip method, he complete up the upon server jiki baktoi, right? It is not, uh, I'm not using paper here. I'm giving lecture through uh, word file, and here I'm using keyboard and uh, I'm typing here. It's uh, I don't require any paper to use here. So here, paper what's learning, you can also get in my point, whatever I'm teaching you, what I'm. Whatever I'm teaching you, right? You also getting the point without paper. So no need uh, paper here. So paper, if you were paper use any, we can uh, use, we can save uh, our environment, right? Then uh, lower storage cost. So lower waste disposal cost, lower storage cost, any lower storage cost, storage cost. Atali, sir. Uh, paper is uh, upon uh, document wise. This is the fourth advantage. Okay, document or yeah, files upon theolo. Okay, so, we require the place 
uh, we require uh, we need to store this particular uh, files in any rack any room right so for this purpose we have to spend our money right so agar the wohi data agar hum log soft copy mein pc mein cloud mein save karte so hum logo ka storage uh, ka cost uski space uh, ko paisa nahi dena hoga and we don't require to spend money for particular unwanted thing so if you use uh, less paper then you will store uh, lower storage cost will be occur is simple then loss energy use sorry less energy use so why we are saying i'm telling here less energy use here listen agar the paper hum file through you saying so we have to keep this data for in uh, proper in sequentially order and suppose uh, by mistake we uh, we unable to yeah we couldn't uh, keep our data in sequential manner and uh, suppose we are require uh, file of 2087 or mujhe uski file chahiye suppose and i don't i mean matlab main उटेंटर space needed it just i said you already then less trick cut agar trick kam cut hogi agar papers ka kaam hi log skip karenge paper use karna agar jyada se jyada hum paper use karna skip karenge to jhar kam katenge aur trick cut kam hone se environment will give us good benefit right uh we can take a good benefit from environment it will be not i uh, mean co2 be emit nahi hoga nahi pollution hoga so agar uh, tree kam cut hua to right uh, then low uh, less um, easy document handling so these are the uh, some advantages if you are going for paperless right then less waste to recycle burn or send to landfill then less uh, wasted production by the organization and less landfill capacity needed so this about the benefit if you are uh, using if you are try to uh, sorry reduce your paper mm, to use uh, your reduce uh, to use paper so paper and office here storage uh, of paper in the office additional cost so practically adapting uh, paperless office can save money and time work adapting paperless office can save money and time both why i am telling this line uh, so we will see two scenario here then you will get the um, output why i am telling that adapting paperless office can save money and time both so suppose scenario first uh, where mr a has got appointment of an important client for the meeting mr a has carry some paper which has he has forgot in the office the scenario first is what uh, mr a, a has a got a appointment of an important client for the meeting mr a has to carry some paper which he has forgot in the office okay mr a ko ek appointment mili meeting ki to so, wo okay, uh, meeting mein jana tha wo file leke lekin uh, Unfortunately, वो वो भूल गया अपने ऑफिस में सॉरी अपने घर में वो फाइल ऑफिस ऑफिस तक लेके जाने के लिए मीन्स बाई मिस्टेक फॉरगेट टू टेक सो ए हैज टू कैरी सम पेपर विच ही हैज फॉरगटन इन द ऑफिस द ओनली ऑप्शन मिस्टर ए टू गेट दो पेपर इन दैट ही हैज टू रिटर्न बैक टू ऑफिस एंड गेट दो पेपर फ्रॉम देर time is waste and might lost uh, the client consider the scenario a mr a has got appointment for an important client okay for the meeting mr a has to carry some paper which he has forgot forgotten in the office so only option for mr a to get those paper is that he has to return back to office and get those paper from there and so Conclusion is that time is waste and might uh, might lose the client. So, अगर Mr. A को client का call आता है, उसको meeting attend करना है, but uh, by mistakely 
इग्नोर करे या लेटर भी बोले कुछ भी राइट और जो लॉस करने की वजह से या मिस करने की वजह से वो या तो आई द्लाइंट मिस करता है या फिर टाइम वेस्ट होता है उसका ओके सो यही एक और सीनारियो देखो Now consider the situation. Okay, now consider another situation where Mr. A has those documents in uh, his email. Okay, अभी जैसे कि A है, A है. Okay, जैसे पहले उसके पास वो जो भी डेटा था, वो हमने कहा उसके फाइल में था. But consider ये सिचुएशन करो कि जो डेटा, जो डेटा फाइल मतलब जो इनफॉरमेशन, जो स्लाइड, जो भी इनफॉरमेशन related to his project, जो उस क्लाइंट को दिखाना है. अगर वो ऑफलाइन या फाइल फॉर्मेट में फाइल फॉर्मेट में ना होकर अगर उस क्लाइंट ए के सपोज मेल आईडी में ओके एग्जांपल सिचुएशन ये कंसीडर करो कि नाउ कंसीडर सिचुएशन वेयर मिस्टर ए हैज दोस डॉक्यूमेंट इन हिज ईमेल ओके ही कैन इजीली लॉग इन राइट अगर वो कहीं भी होगा टू हार्स के डिस्टेंस में भी होगा अपने घर से या ऑफिस से क्लाइंट के पास बट This data is having in his email, then he can easily log in and get those documents from there. Okay, अपने login से वो data ले सकता है, okay? Or he can access his office machine from his laptop using. So he can access also, right? He can uh, then pro proceed there with meeting and can get the contact from the client contract. So यहाँ पे ही अगर वो डेटा उसके पास उसके मेल थ्रू है सो वो डिस्कस कर सकता है अपना प्रोजेक्ट जो भी है और यहाँ पे टाइम सेव होता है देन उसको टेंशन नहीं है कि क्लाइंट मिस हो जाएगा राइट और ना ही उसका कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मिस हो जाएगा नो टेंशन नो वरी वाई बिकॉज डेटा इफ ही फॉरगेट ऑल्सो देन इफ ही हैविंग दिस डेटा इन हिज ई मेल आई डी देन विद इन अकेंड ही कैन लॉग इन हिज ई मेल आई either if he have uh, and he can uh, process his whatever he want to show to the client and he can get the contract also right so this is two scenario with the uh, with paperless and without paper if we are working going through paper then we can sometime be in problem but if we having a good approach a good option or uh, and we can reduce our paperwork also and uh, if we keep this data in cloud cloud yeah in uh, our google drive then we can easily um, use access our data anywhere and we can uh, explain our whatever we want to explain through our data and we can get the contact means uh, the particular a and whatever jo bhi maine aapko bhi scenario bataya okay so ye sab hai paper list वर्किंग uh, में अब हम पेपर कम यूज करते हैं और थ्रू सॉफ्ट कॉपी जाते हैं स्टोरेज ऑफ पेपर स्टोरेज रिक्वायर फिलिंग कैबिनेट विच टर्न रिक्वायर ऑफिस ओके सॉरी इफ अमाउंट ऑफ पेपर यूज इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर रिड्यूस One will be able to free up office space by removing fire filling cabinets, and expense of buying new filling cabinets can also be saved. One can compute how much is spent on paper by counting the number of filling cabinets. One have then measure how much floor area occupied. Multiply both values to know cost of maintaining that file cabinet. Based on the number of on can uh, now how much it cost to store paperwork. If paperwork is stored offside, it will be have additional cost in terms of bill for storage, right? Then distraction. It is not only storage which costs money. Destroying unused and unimportant paper also cost money. Most of the papers produced wind up in the trash within a few years of its 
first being product and organization must pay for each pieces of paper that goes into the trash also paper are sensitive and confidential share are used to destroy them which at expense in the form of worker time along the electricity consumed then going paperless organization changing over paperless billing handle was a clipboard unfilled commercial communication going paperless organization relatives means uh, paperless means less paper it is impossible to scan all document on the computer there are many benefits of paperless document i it is easy to search document the data document and information are safe and secure paperless office and more environment friendly right agar koi bhi documents ya data hum paperless ya hum kisi cloud company ya google drive mein rakhte ho to wo secure bhi hogi agar hum kuch secure essential data hai agar if we want to keep securely we have to provide security for particular data so we can uh, take uh, we can uh, take the space from cloud vendors and uh, through this we can uh, save our data so or uh, ye plus user friendly bhi environment friendly bhi hoga kyunki yahan pe hum paper use nahi kar rahe it reduces the amount of paper granted every year then other benefits are like less time looking for lost paperwork the ability to access, access most document in second the ability to access all document from home okay so less time looking for lost paperwork the ability to access most document in second the ability to access all document from the home so changing over so a good scanner is the key for moving towards paperless we need to scan our paperwork and scan on the network hardware one can printer with be in capability of scanner most of the documents are created on spreadsheet email word processing or database application okay hard it is better to maintain its electronic format hmm then some popular scanner like ipson uh, workforce then canon a scan pdf file consume 250 kb a uh, for black and white document and 500 kb for color if uh, we store black and white document we are able to save 4000 paper per uh, 1 gp of drive span then software a good scanner should some uh, come with driver the driver should allow the management of resolution color bit depth file type and default Uh, folders then pdf reason to consider pdf are open format pdf format declare a standard multi platform pdf file are viewable in window linux and many mobile platform accuracy a layer of digital text for easy searching security pdf can be easily signed and password protected searchable text easy to search text for easy information location work smart be realistic look at your document and decide which one you really need naming each document should be labeled immediately after scan then set us file system filing system should be easy navigated then recycling when you can scan what need to be shared and what need to be scanned and what need to be kept know your limit Stabilize specified goal for scanning. Once you get electronic version of fax, one can decide whether to keep it or not. So this all about some benefits. Some if you using paper, if you go for paperless, then you will get more benefit. You can um, having more option, and it, it is a user friendly, environment friendly. Also, we will save our environment. Okay. So, so if and if we go for paper. then we know very well what we can do what we can lost right so this is all about paperless um means uh, this is your chapter here now in today's uh, today's lecture over here and uh,
upcoming lecture we are going to see paperless billing what is a paperless means what is a short we will see some short intro of paperless billing here then we will see a short note on pda like personal digital assistant okay so this type of uh, some points we will see in my next lecture okay so to this lecture over here thank you any problem yes adnan akshata ayush parkar nikhil okay lecture you can leave then samajh le na